today on Logan Lee Adventures. My boyfriend Yurun is off on a trip with his friends to Japan. So of course I had to go on an adventure of my own all the way to Bali, Indonesia. Bali, Bali, Bali. The name itself evokes essence of an otherworldly island. One where rice paddies, mountains, forests and the ocean all comes together. An island that has something for everyone from spirituality, pleasure, chaos, zen, sun, seclusion and exploration. Morning guys, so last night I just checked into my villa which is this dreamy Indonesian little place right here a little nook out in the rice paddies just uh, behind us and it's kind of, it's about 15 minutes uh, drive out of town so it's in a really nice quiet part of Ubud and it's just really relaxing as you can see and really excited to explore Ubud and parts of Bali with you guys. I'm ready for some peaceful zen and just exploration again. So, welcome to Bali, you guys. Alright guys, either I'm in just the really awesome season or I don't know what it is because you know how people are like ah oh, don't go to Bali, Bali's so packed, it's so overrun by uh, Australians but maybe it's Ubud but there's hardly any tourists from the past from yesterday and from today it's just everything has been quite empty or you know there's people around of course but gorgeous <laughs> but it's not the capacity that I imagine it to be so it's really nice having this temple mostly to myself uh, and just wandering around it's so quiet and so peaceful I absolutely enjoying my time here so much way more than I thought I would be uh, I love 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 these doors I think I can never get enough of these in Bali is that they have these magnificent doors. Exploring the Ubud monkey forest, it lies within the village of Padang Tagel, which owns it. The village residents view the monkey forest as an important spiritual, economic, educational, and conservation center for the village and for Bali. There are over 700 monkeys here. I made it to this place called Monkey Forest Sanctuary or Monkey Forest and as you can see there's tons of monkeys just roaming around and it's a huge forest that we're going to explore. I feel like I'm in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom exploring all of this whole forest with the... I don't know what you call that. <laughs> but it's so cool. And there's like monkeys jumping everywhere, cracking coconuts, eating bananas. <laughs> If you're like me and scared shitless of driving a motorbike in Indonesian traffic, get a taxi motorbike. They're affordable and the drivers are all over the city centers. Indonesian cuisine is one of the most vibrant and colorful cuisine in the world, full of intense flavor. It's only my first day but I'm determined to eat everything. Hey guys, so night for dinner, I decided to not go anywhere fancy but just this local food stall that's just a little bit down the street from my villa and I'll show you around. So this is what I'm eating. It's plain rice and some nice fried fish with a local sauce. I don't know what it's called but if you do know 
what's the name in the comments because I absolutely love this sauce. I've had it a few times with the rice. And yep. Early the next morning. Morning guys. So today I'm going all the way north of Bali, but this time on a motorbike. So I've been hesitant about renting motorbikes for a while now because of stories that you hear of all the dangers and such but um, I'm kind of well I want some type of adventure I guess and I want to have like control of my own time and it's way cheaper than say if you get a rental driver especially if you're traveling solo as I am as one person so renting a whole car is quite expensive for example it's sixty dollars to go to the temple where I want to go to today compared to say five dollars on a motorbike that I drive by myself so this temple is all the way north and it's going to take about an hour and a half to two hours depending on how slow or how I go hopefully I'll be safe hopefully this is not my last little clip of the video but we'll see so and then look at this fits my big head miss Yurun my boyfriend that I will keep him updated because he's scared shitless for me as well which is great <laughs> the nice thing is he said if I get into an accident he's gonna fly over from Japan to see me but I really don't want that to be the case at all I just want him to enjoy his time with his friends and me to be all in one piece so I'll keep you guys updated <laughs> Moments later. So I made it so far, my bike. <laughs> uh, I think this, I would say that this is like the halfway point. I'm quite in the middle of the countryside, though there are still cars being around. But I just want to give a little update and I must say that I'm really proud of making it out of Ubud, out of the crazy hectic city and navigating through intersections. Those were the scariest part of course when there's like a huge ass bus just honking right beside you. There's probably more Bali temples than homes on this island. As you can see, the clouds are literally dipping down on the lake. Uh, but this temple is gorgeous, nevertheless. So this is the fifty thousand dollar bill that this temple is on. It's right there. Right, right there. <laughs> this temple, the Ulan Danu Bratan, is used for offering ceremonies to the Balinese water, lake, and river goddess Dewi Danu. Due to the importance of Lake Bratan, which you can see as the main source of irrigation in central Bali. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. So about two hours drive later, my thighs and bum are a little sore and I finally made it to the Tegenan Waterfalls. I'm gonna just write the proper pronunciation just to write below here. But I finally made it to the waterfalls and apparently this is like a must-see place in Ubud so I was like okay I'm gonna check it out for myself. Unfortunately, the main waterfall was closed off because of an accident earlier during the day, but a mini fall from the Green Valley on the hike down is even better since there were hardly anybody around. This trip so far has been my first time traveling solo since, well, since being single. It feels like I'm learning things again, how to be alone without being lonely, how to take in little things like enjoying the sunshine filtered through the tree branches. I always believe that the most important relationship that you have is the one that you have with yourself. 
because no matter what happens, you'll always have you. And with that happiness you create for yourself, it becomes even more beautiful when you get to share that with someone. I love solo traveling and did it for years. Now being back on the road by myself, of course I wanted to share everything with your room and would love for him to be here as well. But to experience things just as they are, only to keep for your own self, is special too. Alright, before we wrap up and I just chill out for the rest of the day by the pool in my villa, I just stopped by this huge place. It's kind of elevated on top of everywhere else. That's the lower part where you walk up to. But it's really nice. It's just about golden hour for sunset. And I'm the only one here. Is it low season in Bali or what? Anyways, so I'm just going to get some Indonesian food for uh, early dinner before heading back. And man, renting the scooter, the motorbike, such such a great idea. And the ride today, the temple, the waterfalls, they were just all so epic. I got satay, a dish of seasoned, skewered, and grilled meat, usually chicken or pork, served with a peanut sauce. You can find it all over Southeast Asia, though Indonesia has claimed it as one of their own specialties. That's it for my first days in Bali. Give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to come along for the next few adventures in Indonesia.